What's up guys? So, <clears throat> it's been a little while uh, since since I've uh, gotten a video out here, so I figured I'd do something, um, and we're going we're gonna to kind of cover a lot in this video. This is going to be something a little bit different from me, obviously, since I'm in Ohio, and there's just not really much fishing going on unless there's ice fishing, and I, I'm not a fan of ice fishing myself, personally. So, we're going to do pretty... Pretty big unboxing and some stuff I've been saving up here for you guys. Um, kind of cover where we're going in the future as a page, um, a company, and a channel. So, um, kind of just want to touch base on some of those things. Some really cool things coming in the future here that I'm pretty pumped to share with you guys. So, kind of just bust into it. Most of you are probably turning into this already know. This is the video I am picking winners for the contest that I ran here. A Probably a couple months back, so finally picking the winners on that. Um, but as far as kind of what what you can expect from me in the near future here is, um, actually, when you guys are going to be watching this, when I upload this, I will actually be on my way to Florida. Um, so that is some of the big news I have to share with you. I'm going to be traveling down there. Um, some of you have already reached out to me as far as wanting to set something up with fishing and stuff like that. Uh, either on my way down or when I'm down there. A um, little bit of a little bit of bad news, but not really that bad news. Um, a couple guys have reached out to me in the Carolinas and really wanted to do some fishing. So um, bad news is I'm not going to have time on this trip to go down and, and fish with you guys because I, I need to get down to Florida. Now, with that being said, I have something actually else for you guys. So um, first off, Florida. If anybody's in the Daytona area, um, this weekend here, I'm actually going to be hanging around the Daytona area. So if anybody in that area has any knowledge of, of the fishing in that area, I would like to do some largemouth fishing. Um, maybe do a little bit of saltwater fishing. I don't know how that is over on on the Daytona side and stuff. So um, hit me up. L let's set something up. I haven't done a lot of fishing in that area. And then... Uh, Monday or Tuesday I'm going to be heading on down to Sarasota, Bradenton area and that's where I'm going to be the, most of the remainder of the time that I'm in Florida here for over the next week or so. Um, so just if anybody's in those areas just let me know. I want to do fishing in both areas. I'm going to be fishing almost all week so let's let's do something. Let's set something up, meet up, hang out, hang out and uh, catch some fish together. Um, might actually also be going down to Everglades one day so possibly possibly in that area um, then as far as what I was getting to with the South North and South Carolina so um, some things are happening I'm actually gonna be going down and hanging out at the Bassmaster Classic this year so then that's what I'm gonna be looking at going down and, and fishing with some of you guys in that area so like I said it I apologize can't make it happen this time but literally a month much a month from now I'll be I'll be back down in the area and we can hopefully set something up to fish so pretty cool stuff uh, also with that being said anybody that's gonna be at the Bassmaster Classic just hit me up let me know when you're gonna be there let's do let's do something and, and hang out and stuff so it'd be really cool um, and then just as far as let's just get into the unboxing then let's let's just go ahead and do that let's let's dive in instead of just keep talking and stuff so I'm gonna start out with um, one thing, I am missing, I know I'm missing one of these, I actually pulled one out, I literally just pulled one out at random, um, but I, I got sponsored by Hoorag, so pretty pumped about that, but I needed something to throw on my face, because I lost my uh, the face mask I normally use when I go hunting, and I needed one this year, so I, I did grab one of them out, but other than that, I really didn't go through this, so um, let's get in here. First, just kind of a, a letter just congratulating uh, being a part of the, the pro staff team, looks like. Um, label. Sticker. Decal. So I've got some more. Heck yeah. Life, liberty, and the pursuit to fish. Pursuit of fish. My bad. That's pretty... Pretty sick one. Some of these are going to be going on the good old Yeti. I actually um, 
as some of you guys have seen on that's definitely that definitely looks like a Yeti one that definitely needs to be going on the Yeti but um that's pretty sick American flag one uh what was the saying oh on Instagram some of you guys probably saw that I, I've got a truck now so that's between the Yeti and the truck or probably where most of those are gonna go um Probably actually save a couple. I'm, I'm, I don't know if uh, in a previous video some of you guys have seen. Actually, probably the video about. I'm pretty sure it's the video about the uh, my first start time about the giveaway. But I actually I'm working on getting a boat here uh, yet this winter slash spring, and then maybe some of those will make it on there. Looks like some some cards from them. Now the good stuff. The actual bandana. So. Um, Looks like <laughs> so. All right, sick. So American flag one. So, heck yeah, America. Uh, looks what's well, real cool. I don't know if you guys can see it, but throughout it, they just have uh, looks like yeah, pro staff, pro staff throughout it. Down at the bottom, real big. They got pro staff there. That's pretty, pretty all. Oh, that's a pretty sick one. Heck yeah. The one that I don't have here was like a that I grabbed out for hunting was like a skull one. So that one else had pro staff on it. Throughout. And that's something I kind of see throughout these. That's pretty sick. I didn't really think this through to have something to open this up with. But all right. So this one. That's pretty sick. So kind of throughout it has different different saltwater fish and stuff. So this is definitely gonna be a Florida one. And of course, in the at the bottom they have the Pro Staff logo too. So that's gonna be one I'm definitely wearing down in Florida. This I'm not sure what it is. Pretty sick though. Heck yeah. I'll rock it. Heck yeah. And the last one that I got here. Definitely looks like another saltwater one. One we taken down to Florida here. Faux show. Got pro it has pro staff throughout it again. Got some some more saltwater fish on there. Pretty freaking sick. Definitely gonna be coming in handy when I'm down in Florida on those hot well eh, I mean for Ohio hot rays but probably not for the guys in the floor here next I'm pretty pumped about this so I have always had Oakley sunglasses um, I have always I guess I just never really had um, I was just dumb I never I never got polarized lenses so um, my friends that you've I mean, I guarantee you've seen them on the channel already, or if you haven't, go back to the, definitely the first vid, during another vid, I'm not sure which one, but, um, uh, Grant and Dart, they, they've been, uh, they've been talking to me about getting a pair of Costas, and I finally took their advice on that, um, I was kind of torn with going to Florida and stuff. I, I didn't know what I wanted to get for sure. I knew I wanted to get a pair of Costas, but I did not know as far as if I should get a pair of like the blue lenses first, or if I should get the uh, the green lens. But um, I ended up I ended up deciding on the green lenses because for the most part they're still going to be. I'm probably going to get the most use out of them. I'll end up getting a blue pair at some point because it's better for salt water, and I do do some salt water fishing and stuff when I'm down in Florida. But okay, so getting into the box looks like just a thank you, thank you card, um, and then a card describing your lenses and stuff. Of course, a decal, so that's gonna be making it on either the the Yeti or the truck, and they come in a pretty sick little carrying case. So that's 
That's it. And then there they be. So, like I said, pretty pumped. Pretty pumped to finally try a pair of these out, see once how they work. I uh, got a really nice cleaner cloth with, with Costa throughout all over there, so that's pretty, pretty sick. We will try those out. All right, next. One thing I've, I've actually kind of had for a little bit, um, but I, I just really haven't. Uh, I've kind of switched. I, I a lot of you know I'm sponsored by Favorite Favorite Fishing Rods, and I've switched literally all of my all about just a couple of rods and reels over to Favorite. So, um, love them, really love them. Here I got one of my favorite reels from them, and that is the six stick reel. Um, so when you open the box, it has the phrase "Come, I will make." You fishers of men, Matthews 419. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Just the little things, little things that count. Real cool. Pay real close attention to detail on these. So I really like. I'm a, I'm a, just a, kind of just a plain guy. I really like blacked out, and, and I'm, I'm a fan of, of black in general. So if you can't, can't tell. So. Just real, these are real smooth. I literally have been using these for the most part for, for pretty well all my fishing here, no matter what it be. Um, I've literally, I can I can put, I've put seriously like 65 pound test on these babies. And I've, I've, I've used them in, uh, in the real thick and, and nasty stuff and I've used them in, I mean with, with, with like 10 pound test on no matter what I throw on it, it they, they are just plain simple they're very versatile reel basically that you can use them for almost anything so really like what I get out of these but yeah they're pretty freaking sick love them love them love them love them if you haven't already try it try some of my favorite stuff out I don't know where I'd be without their stuff honestly I was just kind of all over the place trying different things out with different companies trying to find what I like I found them Tried some of their stuff out, loved them. Got the opportunity to now where I can, I, I'm sponsored by them. And I, I love it. So, love it, love it, love it. If you haven't already, definitely need to try them out. Now, something that I was wanting to do literally, literally was my game plan all winter was going to be every month at least do a Mr. Tackle Box unboxing. As you can tell, I have not done that and I have three of these bad boys and I literally got another one coming in the mail probably any any day now. So um, yeah, uh, expect another video on that one. Uh, a little bit shorter of a video probably because uh, I'm, I'm pretty well covering everything that I'm going to need to cover other than just doing an unboxing for that one. So um, we'll start out with, the, with what I know is the Earliest one, let's see, I got January, December. This would be all the way back from November, guys. So, um, and I did, I did pre-cut these so that way I didn't really have to mess with it when I got in here. So, what you'll find if you don't already uh, get Mystery Tackle Box and you're just thinking about getting them, what you'll find when you open the box is uh, measuring tape so that way you can measure your fish and post pictures and everything and whatnot with them. So really freaking cool. I put a lot in these boxes. Um, in each box, you'll have your um, your dibble tips and tricks from Mystery Tackle Box, and then down below at the bottom, you have a list of every every uh, bit of the contents in here and the prices. So you know what you're getting. So if you don't know much about these, they are literally 25 bucks a month. You get. Usually, I, I've never, literally never get a box that that has less than twenty five dollars worth of gear in it. So you get your money's worth. They're freaking awesome, freaking sick. In this box, we have uh, let's see here. Looks like a Bagling Diving B two crank. Looks freaking sick. Definitely gonna be using that. Definitely gonna be using that bad boy. Okay, a wake shad. 
looks pretty freaking sick. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Be trying that bad boy out. Jig. Heavy metal tungsten finesse football jig. So, looks like some uh, extreme squid scented, 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 uh, extreme squid scented baits, which by the way, it's like three o'clock in the morning while I'm doing this right now, so if, uh, yeah, I am out of it. All right, donkey rig terminal, Lucky John, heck yeah. Let's see, uh, smart baits, color change baits. Dude, that's, I have never had anything. It looks like some, it's all watermelon. -y. Those look pretty freaking sick. I'm gonna have to try those. I've literally, I've never had, I've never tried or had color changing baits. Jeez. I not gonna lie, I thought that was a spider on my finger, so. Charlie's worms. Looks like some craws. Charlie's worms and got craws. So. Oh. And a heavy metal tongue, some decal. That's gonna have to make its way up on the truck too. So pretty sick there. First box done. And just to like I said, I pretty sure that's more than $25 worth. Just adding it up. Uh, let's see. The the diving uh, the diving crank 939. The wake shed 999. Right there's 20 bucks. Right there, just that tungsten is 529. Incredible craw 529. So we're up to 30 bucks. The the minnows were four dollars. The donkey rig was three. The ultimate strike minnow was 620. So Easily got my money's worth out of that, out of that box. So, like I said, I'm not, I'm not disappointed ever with these. All right, moving on to December's box. Um, these they actually changed them up a little bit. They made them a little bit smaller. I mean, I'm not. I think everything. Like literally, if you put them together, like this one is literally smaller, but but longer. Probably doesn't really change anything. They still do the good old measurement and stuff. So this one we got. That's pretty freaking sick. Strike Pro crank. Looks pretty freaking sick. Not gonna lie. Love that colorway. Kind of like a perch. Perch colorway. Love it. Here we got Jenko fishing trimmer head, trimmer pack. That looks pretty freaking sick. I've never tried one of these jigs out, but I don't know if you can tell it right there. But that got a like a big old, big old something something up on the front there. That looks freaking sick. Never really tried that. Love to try the action of that out. Alrighty, looks like we got some Makura Makora. It's by Lucky John again. So. Um, live 3D series. Some freaking sick looking shad swim baits. I'm assuming those are, mm, I'm assuming those are meant for the jig, the spring jigs. Some yum. Can't talk. Yum. Christy Cross. Stalker by Catchco. Pretty freaking sick fit with focus. And then hmm, another really cool looking crank. Not oh, sick. And then pretty sure this is a 
a wet on tattoo. I'll put that on. And another decal. That's pretty sick. And it looks like we got some mystery tackle box scent. So heck yeah. Look, let's look at the uh let's see, just that um let's see, just the did this. I don't know the the baby bite crank, those are ten bucks just themselves. The trimmer head shad was six bucks. There's sixteen bucks there. Let's see the impact spring jig was three bucks. Well, yeah, exaggerate a little bit, two twenty five. So up to eighteen twenty five. The Christie Cross were three dollars, twenty one bucks. Uh 3D Macoras, Lucky John Macoras, 333, the Death Stalker. Pretty sure it's this. No, it's this. Yep. Death Stalker was $5.49 and the glider, so it was this then. It was 12 bucks. So again, easy. Easy got my money's worth. Another sick box. One thing kind of touching base on like going down to Florida and stuff. I I always do a little bit of fishing just off the uh, under bridges and stuff down there and stuff for saltwater, but I really want to get into saltwater a little bit more. So if you guys are experienced in saltwater at all, just let me know. I'm really, and if you're a guide or anything, I, I'd really like to find find something to get a little bit more in saltwater fishing this year down there. It'd be, I don't know, I've actually never caught a largemouth in Florida either. I know, pretty, you would think I have, but... I just I haven't I, I I've only had every year has been pretty bad and it's it's just yeah it's not the right circumstances so I caught catfish uh, channel cats and I caught other than that that's about all the the freshwater fish I've ever actually caught down in Florida so this year just on all on all um, bases I'm trying to kind of do a little bit better with that but. Yeah, just if you guys are down there, just let me know. I, I'd really like to set something up. So this is the the most current one that I have so far, and this is the uh, the January box. So gotta gotta put a pack of three odd offset worm hooks by Stickies. Let's see, we got some uh, scented salted pork fat net bait, the go-to bait, mad pack of black blue colorway so those are pretty never tried those out that's pretty sick that that will I will definitely use these pretty decent amount uh, Randy swimming runners they're pretty sick catch company pro series uh, looks like a pack of craws Lucky Craft USA crank. Lipless crank. That that will come in handy. I, I use those quite a bit. And then huh. Complete your own Carolina kit. That's pretty freaking sick. So from Carl Stash. <laughs> Whatever. But, uh, so it looks like the, what in the world is the pointer? This? Yeah, this is a $16 lure just in itself, that, that Lucky Craft, $16 lure just in itself. The sixth cents Quake, which would be this lipless crank, those are 10 bucks, right? So just between these two baits, you get 25 bucks. So right there is your money worth. Um, Randy's swimming runner right here seven bucks mad packa these are 419 the offset worm hooks by stickies or 210 Carolina rig kit was three bucks and the gator hog which are are these are three bucks so that's a really good box that that's well that's probably uh, I think that was that had the most value out of all of them. So pretty, pretty freaking pumped. Some of the stuff I'm actually planning on using down in Florida. Some of the stuff I can really use up here if it in spring here when it, when it's still cold and starts clearing up. Um, 
let's see. As far as, um, let's see. So that's something I, can, I want to share with you guys. So one thing is, as far as hunting, this year I didn't really get any hunting videos up. I really wanted to, but I just didn't really have a whole lot of luck. Didn't have time to get out in the stand and stuff. So how it usually goes for me every year hunting is I get one, maybe a day and a half, if I'm lucky, to where I get to hunt. And that's that's gun season. I don't get to put the time in that I want. Um, you know, I, I just don't have time. So this year I decided and after thinking about it and how, how it's gone the past few years, because I still do have a day job, um, and that's kind of what's hindering me at, at being able to hunt more. Um, I usually go down to West Virginia and hunt and do some high-powered rifle hunting down there. And I also hunt up here with gun season, but but never really got into bow. And after I thought about it and stuff and, and really thought how much it, it was a pain in the butt that I never got to hunt, really, because of my job, I kind of looked at it and was like, how could I, how could I do this more? And if I would put the time in, practice, and invest myself a little bit, a little bit better into hunting, I could actually do bow hunting, and then I wouldn't be complaining about only having one week to hunt anymore. I would be having a few months to hunt. So I did get my first bow. So there she is. I got a Matthews. I just, I mean, just being honest with you guys, it's my first bow. So I. Um, it's like a 2012 Z Extreme Matthews, so gonna gonna try her out, see once how that goes this year. So game plan on that is to get some hunting videos up and uh, and, and get the GoPro attached on the somehow onto that if I can. Um, if not, I'll I'll give videos somehow. So and then the. Um, one of our last things to get to, of course, which what you guys have all are, I guarantee the only, the only thing that's kept you around this long probably is sticking around for the, the, the giveaway. So, first place, you guys are going to get a $25 gift card for Bass Pro Shops. Um, you're going to get a sweatshirt. Just let me know what size you wear. You're going to get a lanyard and a decal. And then second place, you're going to get a t-shirt, any style that you want on the site of mine. Um, you're going to get... A lanyard and a decal so um, I'm gonna get to that in just one second the last thing I want to talk about before that is just kind of the future of where we're going here um, like I said we're planning on doing some hunting videos for this year we're gonna keep doing some unboxing mr. tackle boxes when it gets uh, weather permitting and stuff we're gonna do a slam I might actually try to do a slam in Florida possibly if I can find somewhere good to go as for the future as a page as, as a business as a channel what we're planning on doing is, is I'm gonna keep pumping out some content to you guys. I'm gonna start trying to do it a little more regular now here. Um, you're gonna see in the next few weeks, hopefully uh, quite a few Florida videos. Um, of course, I'm gonna be filming and, and doing some stuff down at Bassmaster Classic. Got a few meetings planned down there that hopefully will will kind of help with the future of the, of the company and uh, and uh, some stuff that will really help us pump out some more videos and stuff too. So. Um, that, that's where I'm at there. I got we gotta, 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 gotta get some new designs out for you guys as far as t-shirts and stuff. I got some stuff planned that I think you'll really, really freaking like. So pretty pumped about that. Pretty pumped to see what you guys think on that. Um, as far as everything else goes, keep reaching out to me. I'm gonna be uh, anybody that's located in the Ohio area, I'm trying to set up some stuff to where I can I can do some stuff with you guys as far as fishing and stuff. Um, as far as going on down to like other states and stuff. I have a couple trips planned this year where I will announce them and let you guys know when I'm ready to go on those and see once if anybody's in the area. Um, and then just as far as, uh, yeah, that, that's, that, that's where I'm actually going to leave that for now. Okay. So now the last thing, like I said, I am going to pick the winners now. Um, what I did to kind of pick the winners um, I just entered all you guys into a hat, but I did have to, um, I'm actually going to, to show you their, the, the winner's pages and stuff, so get you, get you a true shout out here. Um, so, second place is Ralph Barton, thanks, 
Thank you very much, man. Thank you for, for subbing. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for commenting on it. Uh, Ralph. Um, there's his page. If you don't already, I will, uh, I will, I will link his page below. Go give him a follow. Thank you very much. You are winning the t-shirt, the, the lanyard, and the decal. Please, I'll put my email, um, down below, just like I always do. Send me an email with your size and uh, and, I'll, and your address, and I'll get that over to you, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate the love. And then the other winner, if I can find you on here, there you are, Freddy the Fisherman. Freddy the Fisherman, thank you very much, man. You are the number one winner, and you get the $25 gift card to Bass Pro Shops. You get the sweatshirt, you get the lantern, and you get the decal. So send me your size over. Send me your address. Uh, I will put the, uh, the the link for my email in the description below. But it's revolutionbassfishing at gmail.com. That's pretty freaking easy. But it's down below. So, And Freddy the Fisherman here is... His page. If you don't already, go make sure you give him a subscrip your subscription. Go subscribe to him. And uh, show him some love as well. Um, thank you guys very much looks actually like hey that's cool phrase comes actually greetings fellow Ohioan that's pretty freaking cool that's pretty neat that is neat so cool 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 well hope you guys enjoy um, hope you guys enjoyed this video it is just sitting down with me myself um, kind of put me on a spot I'm not really used to talking quite as much as this and uh I hope I didn't sound too freaking tired. Like I said, it's like, it's literally time check. And near 3:25. I tried. So stay tuned. Can have some more videos pumping out for you over the next couple weeks here. Um, try my best to do a little bit more for you. Some of you guys that are in the Florida area, hit me up either on Instagram or my, my email. Doesn't matter. Hit me up. Let's do some fishing. Get you on the page. Get you on the, the, the channel. Let's do something. Um, if you know any guides, if you know, uh, or you just know what you're doing in the area or just want to hang out, I don't care. Let's do something. Do some fishing. South Carolina, I'm coming for you then next. Bassmaster Classic, pretty freaking pumped. I've never been to a Bassmaster Classic, so it's gonna be freaking awesome. So that's where we're at and everything. I'm gonna end it right there. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you join the revolution. Don't do that one. <laughs>